Collier, what, do, what role has migration and the backlash against migration played in fueling these populist movements, visible actually in Britain with UKIP, but in France with Le Pen and Holland with Wilders? There's all kinds of examples. What, how much is this about immigration? I think, um, and most in the audience won't like this, but I, I, I think what's, what's actually happened is is, is, is not particularly something to the... Well, let's focus on the English working class. I think the English working class now is more or less where it's always been. I think what's walked is the English middle class, um, which has decided that it doesn't really want to be English. Um, um, it's walked away from a shared identity with ordinary people. Um, I think this is particularly pronounced in London, I'm afraid. I grew up in Sheffield, right? with a proper place. And, um, uh, and I grew up in, a, in an environment, I was surrounded by Scots, left, right, across the road, all Scots. And it never occurred to any of us that we were other than the same identity. They were Scottish, I was English, but we were all British. We just fought a war together. Oh, God, I've done it again. Right? <laughs> um, and, um, and because of that, there was a, a strong willingness to, of the fortunate to redistribute to the less fortunate. We were a shared identity. Um, and I think that that has gradually corroded. Now, I think the... Um, where does immigration play into this? It's a bit marginal. It's something that the upper middle class gets very excited about because it can accuse ordinary people of being racist. Right? But the, here's, here's a, an uncomfortable piece of statistical evidence. Right? Across Europe, the higher is the proportion of immigrants in the population, the lower is the willingness of those above median income to make tax transfers to people below median income. That's across Europe. There's also um, experimental behavioural evidence, which, which, which explains why that is. I can't go into it. But um, what that means is people below median income, ordinary people, have a perfectly rational reason to fear that immigration will sort of weaken this sense of shared bonds and the middle class will just run off go and do its own thing. And so sort of distribution of redistribution of wealth and, and the, base, the basic sort of funda fundamentals of social democracy rest, in your view, on there being a degree of homogeneity in a society. Well, it once it's too it, diverse, this is an argument that you and perhaps others have made, once yeah. it's too diverse, then the, mo the willingness to share becomes reduced. It has to be a shared identity. That doesn't mean homogeneous ethnic identity or anything like that. Uh, it, it just means a sense of buying into we are all... The, and the, the only basis, viable basis, for shared identity, you can't buy in on a set of values because our values in a, in a democratic open society, our values are all over the place. Right? The one thing you can all agree on is, 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 is location. We're all British. We all live in the place. And so you need that to become an important salient feature of identity.